all this electronics is fun but eventually you gotta heat some water uh, here's a couple ideas you might be able to use uh, this is a Camco hybrid water heating element and uh, these fit in a there's a normally an extra fitting in a propane RV uh, like a 10 gallon water heater uh, you take out the one fitting and you put this in tighten up the ferrule and you have a they're about 23 ohms uh, the model numbers and everything else are in the description there's also uh, a couple listings for water tanks that are four and six gallon that are wall mount uh, they have 10 ohm heaters in them you know they're, I've seen them as low as $160 they're generally always under $200 ship so that's an option those model numbers are in there you know look them up one of your other options is this uh, this is a 2000, 2000 uh, watt 120 volt heating element uh, most of your 9 gallon 10 gallon uh, point of use heaters uh, use this that are, it's a typical round tank type uh, and these uh, I bought I bought two of these for like fourteen dollars shipped so they're pretty cheap much cheaper than buying uh, those so-called uh, DC heating elements uh, you'll need a, a socket to take them out this flange can be very thin on some of the original equipment uh, I have one that's a 1500 watt I want to replace it with this have never been able to get it out but uh, I gotta bring a impact tool to my camp so maybe with some air power I can get it off these are just really thin it just takes a lot of pressure and whatever tool you use has to be absolutely flush is you know you can't have any bevels uh, at the edges so one of the other things you can do with this is these easily fit into a an inch to inch and a half adapter uh, this section here is is over an inch so you can't put this into a one inch pipe you have to put it in some adapter that you know goes to a bigger tube I saw one of these that uh, a guy had taken a four inch PVC pipe and he put one of these on the bottom and with uh, a water fitting only a single one and the top was closed off on the pipe and he just filled it with, with water uh, the pressure from the water uh, compressed the air and that was the energy to get it back out two valve system something to think about anytime you're heating water you're going to be expanding it and uh, that can blow through the seals of your uh, faucets so uh, you should have an expansion tank in the system or some way that uh, the pressure won't build up these are uh, you can often find these this is a a point of use hot water dispenser these are only a third of a gallon for making soups hot coffee tea and uh, these often get thrown out because the uh, valves on the dispenser element just they wear out people don't fix them but it's a third of a gallon it's 28 ohms and uh, doing a little soldering and put some fittings on it's not much but if you want to have hot water to wash your hands that's a good idea another thing is this is a hot tub uh, heating element you can find varieties of these that are squiggly everything else for uh, heating elements for deep fat fryers whatever uh, the nice thing about them is that all you have to do is drill two holes you don't have to be uh, great at metal working or welding or anything like that so I've seen people uh, put these in uh, basically garbage cans plastic garbage cans you know two or three of these would provide a really decent amount of heat if you you know if you had the power uh, I really like to see something very insulated because you lose about 
the equivalent of 50 watts an hour uh, just in heat loss from a, even a fairly good tank. Uh, any of your other tanks you should think about putting an extra box around them. Uh, if you don't insulate, if you don't start out in the morning with like 85 degree water, you're not going to have a very successful system. And these, I got a couple of these. I've always meant to do something with them. I might do them this year. Uh, this is a uh, coffee pot heating element. This normally sits on the bottom. Your pot will rest on top. And these are about 15 ohms. You know, you could put about three of these in series. And there's these little 12 volt pumps. These are only about $17. You could circulate water in a tank. You know, it's an idea. Might work. So, that's my ideas for today. Uh, you know, you can be creative. Uh, these uh, circulating pumps are, you know, for this heating element, if you did a, uh, a one foot section of PVC pipe and fed water in the bottom and pumped it out through the top. Just remember to put a check valve in so you don't uh, feed cold water right up into the top section. But uh, that could be an easy uh, adapter. And these... Oh, there it is. These, you know, if you have a, a home type water heater, uh, you have a drain valve on the bottom and no one ever drains it. Uh, one of the things is like this is a 2000 watt. Look how short it is. It's just too high of a heat density. And when you get water boiling on an element, it's going to deposit sediment. So if you run a 2000 watt heater on 400 watts, you know, you're never going to get that sediment. But anyways, you can pull out the bottom valve because no one ever flushes their tank. Uh, put a fitting in and you can have that extra helm element that, and you still have your two grid tie elements. Uh, it's a way to preheat water, put a little extra uh, power in and you might be able to keep your water tank from coming on during the day. Remember, you, uh, in a full-size water tank, it's about 70 to 80 watts an hour it takes just to keep the heat the same temperature because you'll have that much heat loss. And that's very easy to supply from some solar panels. Well, thanks for watching.